Lately, I've been getting a lot of teachers asking me about Moodle. What is Moodle, and how can it help me as a teacher? Moodle is an online course management system that does a multitude of tasks for you. At its most basic level, Moodle gives teachers an opportunity to have an internet website page where they can write announcements on their Moodle course and have it appear to, stu to students and teachers as a web page. Um, this is a, a common Moodle course. It looks very much like a web page. In fact, it is a web page. But as the teacher, I have this little extra button that says turn editing on. And I can turn when I click that. I get some buttons and drop down menus. And where I see a little hand and a pencil, that allows me to edit things or write content on my page. So I can just click that and write something. Um, and I have very common tools. It's very easy to use. A typical HTML editor, wiki style format of posting things on the internet. And then I simply click Save Changes. And I'm writing on the internet, and that is on the internet for parents to see. Um, another thing it can do is link to web pages. So if you want to post internet resources for your students, you can do that in a variety of ways. In the same window, so that students can go to the Moodle page and then off to somewhere else where you'd like them to go. You can keep this on the top, what I what they call the navigation bar, and what I call the sometimes like to call the uh, my breadcrumbs so that students can easily get back to your Moodle page and you can also write instructions for the students of what you'd like them to do or what you'd like to them to see on this particular web page or what you'd like their focus to be. And then the student just clicks on the home button here to get back to the same Moodle course. Moodle also has an online calendar so a teacher can um, use the calendar to post events for their students and then they put their mouse over it. They'll see I have a Moodle class on uh, February 5th. They click on this, they can see a larger view and they can click on the event for more information. Another very simple task that teachers use Moodle for is to post documents online for their students. So in this, I have an example of a barbecuing flyer. This is my Just for Fun Moodle class. And if a student or parent clicks on this, here they can see the document that I published online. And I didn't have to do any FTPing or, or um, HTML coding to put this online. And I can even add some notes about this flyer or document for the students or parents. And then they have the navigation bar. They can go back to my Moodle site or they can print this document out or even save it on their own hard drive. But the real power in Moodle comes with its interactive ability. One of the things that you can do with Moodle is have a glossary where students can add vocabulary words. This is my Seinfeld glossary. I have um, terms here that I think are very important. If you're con to consider yourself a Seinfeld fan, you should know what an anti-dentite is. So if I don't know, I can click this and I get here I get the de definition. And what master of one's own domain is. Now I don't really remember what that is, so let's go ahead and see. And uh-oh, looks like I have uh, violated my acceptable use policy of my district. I'm just kidding, but I wanted to show you that you can add images for the vocabulary definitions, which I think would be a very valuable learning tool for students. Another great tool that I've interactive tool is the quiz feature. So you can have a quiz and have the students take this particular quiz. And then they submit the quiz, and immediately they get um, immediate feedback. And as a teacher, I can see the results of the quiz. So as I'm the teacher of this site, <clears throat> I can see a list of students and how they did. And I can get an item analysis and see um, the most frequently missed questions or what responses th that the students made on my particular quiz. Now that's just a very small fraction of all the tools that make up a Moodle course. But to, to give you a, few, a little more information, I can have wikis, assignments, 
where students can upload files to me. Here we have some students uploaded files and I can grade them and write comments on them and score them as well, give them a score, give them a grade. I could have online discussions. Here we have I'd rather be where students can discuss things and post replies to uh, discussion bulletin boards and image um, comments that other students have made. And they have a chat room as well, so you can chat online, enter a chat room. So we, I know of a few teachers who have uh, used, have chat sessions for homework help in the evening. And that's just, just scraping the surface. And here we have RSS feeds we can post on there. And there's a lot more that you can do with Moodle. So that's just a taste of Moodle. Q is offering a hands-on workshop at the Q conference on Friday from 3 to 6 entitled Got Moodle. Their teachers will actually begin to set up a Moodle course and start learning how to use these some of these many, many tools. Seats are filling up fast, so you may want to sign up now if you're interested in participating. Thank you.